Oh, of course. When you're live, it it's going to give me a hard time now. So when, when you log in to work in Texas, this is what you will see, right? And, and you've got a few different ways you can navigate. Um, you know, the, the left uh, side navigation is that you can help you get comfortable with it. You can start here and then there's other ways to navigate as well. But just to keep everything simple, you know, we're gonna just use the left navigation windows over here. So where we want to start is anything that you want on your resume. It's important that you come to right here, your resources. And what you'll be able to do is go down to my background. And that's where, you know, when you got registered, it asked you a bunch of questions and made you go in and put in contact information and things like that. But when it comes to your resume and what you want on the resume, this is where I would come to check and see what is on your background because this is what will populate on your resume each time. So then what you can do is scroll down. Now they have a wizard where you could go in, but you've kind of already done that, getting registered, gone through those basic questions and steps. So now you'll be able to see your core background items. And like I said, this is where you want to go in to be sure that you're capturing all the things you want to capture on the resume. It'll start with education and training. If something is missing, you can simply just add it right here. Once you get your, um, your bookkeeping certification, you can come in and add it just right here. That's the document, yes. But the important thing too is that you want to be sure that the employment history that you want on your resume is appearing in this section. If something's missing, um, or say it was, um, you know, maybe you've got something where, you know, it was a short term little um, opportunity for a couple months and you're like, oh, I don't really want that on there, right? Here's where you can go in and look and edit, delete, or if you want to add, that's gonna be here. But that's where we wanna begin is going through to move that window um, to look and see so once you get to your employment history like these are your core background items right your education your certification and your employment history that's what's going to populate to your resume but then when you get down here you want to be sure that you're entering all of the skills um, that are associated and tied with that employment history. So you'll look and see, and you didn't know when you were putting information in there that you were tying these skills there. It would ask you, do you want to tie the skills to your background? And you would, everybody would say yes. So this is where you can kind of come in and look at what you have. And if you look and you go, oh, you know, there's, Minimal finance. Let's see if I can update my finance skills now that I've got this certification. You can come down here and edit your job skills. Once you go into this, it opens up the whole opportunity where you can um, enter the skills by industry. You'll see the little tabs where I can come over and click on healthcare, and those will populate here. So you're going to want to be sure, let me look and see, because there's probably, here you have some financial, um, and there could be more in maybe the mathematics, possibly even the education. I tell people go through and, and capture everything that you want to promote as an employee. I'm gonna just go back and hit the back button. 
They say don't do that. And maybe this is why. No. Okay. Um, I just wanted to get back to that section because I wanted you to see that when you hit your job skills, I wanted you to see that industry tab section. So now you can keep going all the way to the end, look at your tools and technology. And again, you can edit here. So when we get to these sections, you know, this is where I would highly recommend um, when you're done with the class, you get all of your information in, um, that you attend one of my resume workshops and I can gladly send you the October calendar. Although I know you'll still be in class, but you'll have that contact information and that way you can keep in touch with me for when you're ready to take the classes. And we'll tell you how to um, correlate these different sections depending on the job that you're applying to. So that's going to be important information, but that's going to be kind of to come, right? We first want to be sure that we can go in here. And again, let me, I try not to scroll too fast because I don't want to make anybody dizzy. <laughs> what I was doing just right here when you log in, I want you to come to the My Resources and, and look at your background. That would be the first thing, you know, you want everything in here. Then once you have that completed and you can come in here and you look and you see everything that you have that you want to promote, then at that time, what we're going to do is we're going to come down under the quick menu and be able to go through the resume builder. Now, I actually went in um, today and, and did an updated resume to go through. Um, and you see, this was the one I was able, I need to go in. I didn't like that it just gave me this one line item here, but I'm gonna walk you through it, but I just kind of wanted you to see how it will come out. And it, this will be a Word document or a PDF, but it's a, it's a good start for you to have. And employers can come in and see this as well. And somebody didn't do capital letters when they entered that. My OCD, I'll fix that later. So when you click on the resume builder, it will give you opportunities to see because everybody will have a resume that you started with. And you can go in and look at that. Also look and see, depending on if you were registered prior to this class, look and see if you have any expired resumes. Some people could have been in the system long before, and we see that we do have one in the system that expired back in February. Because it is tied to the state website, it could pull up information. So that's why I say go in and look to see what you have. When you go through to build a new one, because you can have uh, multiple versions, in here you'll just come down and now what that's what we're gonna do now is just walk through the steps of creating the resume. So I will say October. Actually, let me do this. Call it what my focus is. So there's going to be a couple different steps that depending if you have a resume that you're utilizing or if you want to go through the system and build. I'm going to show how to um, go through the system and build one. If you have one that you want to upload, please reach out to me and I'll help you go through those steps so that it uploads your resume in the format that it's created in. You wanna be careful if you don't upload it properly, it could, um, it could change the format of the document. Um, because this is not a, uh, this is a Sarah job seeker, I don't want any of these resumes to be um, viewable online, but you do have the option to make it where employers can go in, but this is a, a generic account, so I don't want, and it's going to say, are you sure? Yes. 
So this is why I really like our resume builder because you can see all of the steps that it will walk you through. Um, and the first, uh oh. Okay. I'm sorry, I just saw the, the chat box. My apologies. I did not see. Okay. Yes, and if you need help updating since you have something already in the system, just feel free to reach out. Like I said, I would highly recommend, I'm kind of going through these steps with you now, um, but I would highly recommend you attend the resume class when you're done so that we can help you prepare it and get everything together. So this is going to be your default to what you set when you registered. Um, you can leave it or you can change it. You can go in and select the kind of work. Um, you know, we could go in. I don't think we have bookkeeping in here, um, but all you have to do is simply go in and search for it and it'll pop, pop populate up. Now, when you pick your salary and work in Texas, I always tell people, you know, we all want to make $25 an hour, but don't shortchange yourself by going too high, right? Um, let's be sure by having it lower than what you really want, just kind of keeps that window of opportunity open. Um, you could put 22, or what, let's see, 21.75 an hour, and it's not gonna show you anything below that. And there could be a job right down the street for 21.50 or 21, you know? So I always say go lower, wherever um, you decide to choose, you know, cause you also want to consider where your profile is set up to. If you're looking for work in Austin and can travel there, you definitely want to go with a higher rate than what you would have if it was just set to, you know, Bastrop County or Lee or Fayette County, right? This will show you when you went through and registered, um, you picked what kind of work you're looking for, you picked the shifts and the days that you're available. So this will just confirm what you had selected or you can go in and make edits. Uh, is my okay. Kelly, I was gonna mention something in case, uh, let's get your feelings on this. Yeah. You know, you put down an amount but most employers will give you a raise pretty quickly um, if they like what you're doing. I mean, in other words, yes, my, absolutely. Uh, there's no way I can stand to make ten dollars an hour. No, but, and it's you know it's what your comfort level is with too. You know, a lot of jobs in work in Texas, um, it is an option for the employer to leave that blank. Okay. So you'll you'll still be a match to the jobs that match your qualifications that don't have, you know, because a lot of them will leave it off. But if it is in there, you know, I tell people to, you know, don't do that 18 an hour, you know, in Giddings if that's what you got in Austin. You know, because Giddings may not be able to pay what you were you were getting in Austin. You may have to lower it a little bit. So that's where you just kind of depends on the nature of where your search is on what you want that uh, that amount to be. But you can always go in and change it too. It's what it's doing is that it's attaching this resume to that particular job search as well. Mm -hmm. Um, this again, you would have already filled out when you registered about the driver's license, any endorsements. Uh, bilingual security clearance and typing speed. So this is where it's going to get a little tricky. Because when you come into here, it 
makes you a template that I really don't like. And unfortunately, the state has defaulted it to that. So if you stay right here, skip this step, I'll use the current template. Um, it's one or it's, it's paragraphs and it all runs together and there's no sections of the resume. So I highly recommend you taking the time. And like I said, if you need help going through this process, please reach out because you want to have a good looking resume. Um, I went through it this morning uh, to see if the state had made any changes and, and they have not. It will default to the paragraphs of resume. And I just, I don't care for that. So when you get to the layout, you have to build but it's really easy to do. All you have to do is say, I want to format a resume. And as you go through and look at the sections, it's just going to, you can just leave it at what it's defaulted. But what you have to do is just come here and say, I want to, a new template so that you don't default to that one. So I don't want to, that's the one I named this morning. I'm going to call this one. Oops. Accounting and like I said, you can just leave all that. You don't have to pick any of those. Let it go to that default. Oh, my bad. I have to come over here my apologies i went through this because the state keeps changing it so you have to do come in and say what sections you want on your accounting resume so of course we want our contact information i say leave the objective off because i like to use the ability summary to summarize what you're going to do for that employer but again i'll teach you all that in the resume class and then we can go into, you know, you're just picking what you want. Um, this is what we don't want. That's that paragraph. I really wish I could delete that. I don't know who says that is a nice resume. It's not. Again, if you have references, check the box. Any additional, um, if you guys get an honor or an activity that maybe you did something that's in the industry and in accounting or bookkeeping, we can put it in there. Any other things that are relative, absolutely, we would wanna check that because you're getting one now. And then we can save it. So remember all I did was I went to format, I scrolled down, I said save, then it's going to prompt me to name it. Then we come over before you save the name and we have to select our sections. It's just, we're just confirming. Oh, wait, let me be sure. Yeah, see, we attached it here. I'm sorry, I skipped that step. So now we see that we're going with our accounting template and it says, okay, this is what you want. And I say, yep. Mm -hmm. And now it's just going to go through the sections that I selected to confirm my information is correct. Again, this is after you've put it all in your background. So it's just showing you everything that you had put in there earlier when you said, this is what I want. Oops, my bad. Why is it asking me to put in? Oh, because I didn't have one. Oh, I shouldn't have done. Okay, AA11. One, one. Uh, completed in the 19th. Okay. That'll be your accounting bookkeeping certification. I clicked on that and since she didn't have one, it made me enter. Okay. And that'll be your, the one you're about to get. Then you can see your employment history. Again, this is what you entered. job skills, it gives you the chance to confirm that, and I'll show you why later. 
Again, those were all the tabs that we went to pick on to be sure all of our industry related skills are in here. Same for technology. I'm sorry, I'm going so fast. Try to go a little slower. Tools. <clears throat> we're not going to update this right now because we're going to update that when you come to the resume workshop and I tell you what to do with that summary of qualifications. You know, um, I'll say this about that summary. A lot of people use that space. You know, if you have, uh-oh. Was that for me or for? I hope that somebody who got dropped off and just came back in. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, a lot of people, you know, if you have your contact information and you have an objective and then people have that summary of qualifications and they summarized what they've done in the past for other employers, you know, that is prime real estate. You want to summarize what you're going to do for that employer that you're sending it to. And I'm going to tell you how to get past the computer scan because, you know, when you upload your resume to any website, the computer is scanning it to see if you're qualified for that position. So your summary qualification needs to hit the nail on the head with that job description and those keywords. So that's why I say let's get this information in here so that you're prepared when you're done with this class. But when you're ready to start applying, please come see what to do with this section here. Okay. And then, of course, it's going through my contact information. Just all the things, that, the boxes that I selected that I wanted on my resume. And so now, here we can see the resume that's in the system. And that will be there that employers can use. But when you're ready to do job search, you can simply come down and you can download it as a Word document. It's going to pop up. And then we're able to make changes and make edits and you have something that you can work with. Outstanding. So um, again, I know I, I kind of went through it a little quickly. Um, but all I did was when you log in to the work in Texas, once you get your registration complete, I know even going through that process now, it's, uh, it's a lot more than what it used to be now that the system's gone through some, some good upgrades. But there are a lot of good resources in here too. But when you come in and you can click on your resources, go down to your background. And remember, your core background items are the things that are going to appear on your resume. So once you have these and everything in that you want, all I did was I just went through my resume builder here under the quick links. But first, you want to take care of all that stuff you want on there. Uh, Kelly, does this, do y'all also have cover letters in the system? We do, we do. So if I go to, well, let me come over here and look at my personal. Well, actually, I should show you guys the other thing you can do as well. You know, once you start getting comfortable with work in Texas, you know, you've got the left navigation. These are what we call the filing cabinets. So you can always access your, your information here as well. But what I want to do is if I go to, right here, when you access your resumes, Right, here's the ones that I just did today, accounting. 
just keep going down and instead of hitting the create new resume we're going to go over here and click the little link i don't know why they hit it they didn't make it its own separate builder you go into resume but it's right here you can go into cover letter and then you can start the the wizard will actually go through all the steps just like the resume for the cover letter wow. who you're going to address it to what you want you can insert um, different templates too so we can look at and it'll populate it like that one hmm. but again you know i just stress going to the resources and and getting them the my background before you start building anything <laughs> that's great that is powerful <laughs> That's, that's excellent. You know, Kelly. Uh, Let me show one other thing too, if you don't, just because no. this will come a little later, you know, but I wanted to show you why we went through and picked those skills. Um, when you go, when you're ready to do a job search, what you want to think about is right here. Oh, let me move my little zoom window, throw it down there. Um, right here. I can say, give me a skills search. Mm. So that's why we say go through and put those skills. So then I want to look at my skill criteria. And I can even go in and say, you know what, match my skills 70% or higher. Mm. Now I think I'm only set up for Bastrop and Caldwell County. Um, I don't get anything or no I, I did I I don't think I did the last time I did a search when I went that high let's see uh oh at one time I had this set to the state of Texas and I didn't realize it and boy did it swirl forever <laughs> okay so here we see oh wow boy there's a, a spectrum from cps to great clips <laughs> wow. um but that is why when you go in and you click on your job search you can have it match your resume match your skills maybe you're looking for a particular employer um, and you can even go in these advanced search options are pretty unique as well um, i had one particular gentleman who was looking for a delivery driver and he was able to come in here and say exclude jobs that have the word amazon and pizza in them because he did not want to deliver pizza or Amazon products yeah. and so he says it you know it worked he goes I never got job matches that had so the advanced search will let you go in you know it even has I don't, I don't want to scroll but you can go in and pick look the employer size you know I want little small ma and pop or let's go to the big boys all kinds of things so again, there's lots of features. And again, all I clicked on was job search. And these different tabs will indicate, oops, sorry about that, of how you wanna do your job search. Do I wanna go with my skills, my resume, or you know, if you're just doing the quick one, just throw in a keyword. Let's see. Hmm. But y'all don't have to worry about this yet. You've got other things to focus on and before we do job search. I think though it's outstanding because you can see if, if you'll put the right things in there, employers are out there looking for, for certain mm -hmm. things, especially bookkeepers and mm -hmm. uh, in that area. So uh, it's definitely gonna 
open up some things. And then also you can start looking at what what things are needed. Once you realize realize what's needed for bookkeepers, you can start putting those things in there. Yeah. So. Like I said, when you come to the core, you know, you'll do the education, the certification, the employment history, that's where you'll get to there and you can come. And when you click that edit, that's where all these tabs are. That's great. Yeah, so like I said, um, Dale, if you would send me a roster, I will gladly um, send you guys, uh, the um, calendar so that you have my contact information. If you can get in to work in Texas, you know, I just ask that you get your background updated. And then if you want to attend a resume class, you know, we can help you go from there. That's excellent. Yeah. And uh, like I say, you do those, those workshops and that's definitely uh, from what you've given here and then having that workshop there put that resume together and that uh, with what we're getting in this class. Uh, yeah, let me, I have, or didn't I open it? Hold on, let me look and see. Let me, let me stop sharing for one sec. Okay. I was just, I had it opened, I thought, so that y'all could at least see it. which was here and like I said, we can go in and make edits and whatnot, but it's something to start with. Absolutely. Oh, great. great. That's good. Does anybody have any questions? I could go back and show um, anything else on Work in Texas. If anybody has any problems getting registered or completing that, um, like I said, I'll, Dale, if you can get me everyone's email address, I'll, I'll gladly send everyone an email, just introducing myself with the calendar. Great. Um, I'll get you that information for sure. And I did ask, uh, if everybody could give me a thumbs up on the ones that I did ask them to complete, to get on work in Texas. I know a couple were having a little trouble at first. Hey, uh, hey, I see some familiar names. What? <laughs> okay, Marcia, you got on there.